click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Imam Hassan Askri used to answer all the religious issues as Imam of the Muslims. Whether the questioner is his friend or enemy. While the enemies always tried to ask hard and difficult questions to the Imam so that the Imam would be unable to answer the question, but the Imam used to answer all the questions well. A man came to the service of the Imam and said, My brother whose name is Bin Aksum, has asked me some questions that I have to answer. Imam Hadi said, Have you answered his questions? No, because I don't know the answers to these questions. The Imam said, What is the question? First question is about the interpretation of the Quranic verse, in which Hazrat Sulaiman and the knowledge of Asif are mentioned. Did the Prophet of Allah need the knowledge and wisdom of Asif? The Imam said, Hazrat Sulaiman was aware of what Asif informed Hazrat Sulaiman, and it was to explain to the people that Asif would be the Imam after him. And it is necessary that people should follow Asif after Hazrat Sulaiman, just like people recognized Hazrat Sulaiman during the time of Hazrat Dawood. There is another question about the interpretation of the Quranic verse, in which Jacob and his sons are mentioned to prostrate before Yusuf. While Jacob was a divine prophet, how did he bow down to Yusuf? The Imam said, Yaqub's prostration was not for Yusuf but for God. Just as the angels did not prostrate to Adam, but to obey God's command, and because of God's interest in Adam. So Jacob also performed this sajda to thank God that God reunited all his family members. There was a question about the interpretation of the Quranic verse, where there is a mention of the mistake of the Prophet of Allah, that if you have doubts about what we have revealed to you, then go and ask those who recite the Quran. So, was the Messenger of God in doubt or was the Quran revealed to someone else? And then the Imam said, In this verse, the mistake of the Messenger of God has not been mentioned. God said, Every prophet whom God sent was from among mankind, and he eats his food like men, and in the markets also he makes his way like men, and he never doubts himself and his God. The Imam spent his entire life in the pursuit of divine knowledge and its law, although the enemy of Imam left no opportunity to torture and harass the Imam.